Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing my subculture palette video that I've been talking about doing for weeks. I created this glittery, kind of peachy cranberry look. It's very glam, very holiday. If you want a very simple and easy holiday look, just go watch my previous video. That's a full face tutorial. This one is just gonna be the eyes today and the lips. And there's also a little review thrown in along the way for this palette, so let's get started. So I'm gonna keep the review part of this video pretty short. I think I'm just gonna show you guys along the way how this palette performs on the eyes and stuff like that. There's already a lot of reviews on YouTube of this palette, a lot of controversial thoughts, so I'll give you guys kind of my opinions along the way, but I'm not gonna do a full in-depth review. But before I start with that palette, I'm just gonna go into my Yes Please palette and the lightest shade, I'm gonna put that all over the lid just because the subculture palette doesn't have like a creamy white shade to start with. Okay, now I'm gonna take the subculture palette and I'm gonna start with this peachy shade. This is the shade Dawn. And you do have to be very light with tapping into the shades. As you can see, there's fallout. There was fallout in the Modern Renaissance palette as well, which I feel like didn't get as much of an uproar as this palette did. But this one definitely has a tad bit more fallout than the Modern Renaissance. So I'm just building this up more on the outer corner and crease. I wanna keep my inner corner kind of that white creamy shade. Next I'm gonna mix these two kind of yellow and orangey shades. This is Edge and New Wave and I'm building that up into the crease and outer corner as well. These were the shades I was super excited for and they are a little bit more muted than they seem. Like they're not as bright, which I feel like most of the palette is like that. The shades aren't as bright and vibrant as you think they will be, but I haven't really had an issue with blending out out these lighter shades like they blend out fine they're not patchy and they're highly highly pigmented which is why you just gotta tap in a tiny tiny amount okay now I'm gonna go into the shade Roxy it's like a salmon peachy color and I will do swatches of all the colors at the end of this video just to kind of give you an idea of what I mean by the colors being muted and like not as vibrant I feel like those colors blended in really really nicely next up I'm gonna take this maroon shade it is the shade all-star this one is a bit more powdery so you definitely need to like knock off all the excess and I'm gonna pat it on to the outer corner. Basically the darker shades in this palette are the ones you kind of have to be more careful with. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into that Roxy shade and just smudge that along the lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna take New Wave and do the same thing. And then to smoke out the outer corner, I'm gonna take All Star. So this is already a perfect look on its own. Honestly, if I just add mascara right now, I think this would be so pretty. But I did plan on doing liner and like some glitter and stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. For liner, I'm gonna use this Tarte Clay Paint Liner. This is in Mulberry. I got like a little quad of four liners. It was on sale half off. It was such a good deal. And it also comes with this brush. One side has like an angled brush and one side has like a paint style brush. And the brush is so amazing. It makes it so easy to do liner. And the pack of four comes with four different colors. There's the staple black, there's this purpley mulberry color, there's a champagne gunmetal type of color, and then there's a bronzy color. So there's lots of fun different options for cool unique looks. I really really like it and the formula of the liner is really nice. You basically squeeze it out onto this little palette and then you can apply it onto your brush. I love using liners that aren't black. I just feel like it's such a nice little pop of color. Okay, so I did the winged part of the liner off camera because I have to be super close to the mirror. But now I'm gonna add some glitter. I'm gonna use this NYX glitter liner. This is just the gold shade. And I'm basically gonna outline my purple liner with this glitter liner, if that makes sense. So since this is a more dramatic glam look, I am gonna put on lashes. I'm using the Kiss Faux Mink ones. These are in Little Black Dress. I like these because they're not too long, but they're still fluffy and they just have a lot of volume. A lot of false lashes just have like a lot of length, but they're not voluminous. Also the band on these is super flexible, so that makes them really easy to apply, which is always great. Okay, so now I'm just adding some mascara to blend the lashes together. So the other problem with this palette is there's not really an 
inner corner highlight. I have used this green shade and it is buildable and it does work and I like that one. This one honestly has like no color payoff at all. I'm gonna try to put some in my inner corner right now so you can see. And this is with my finger which should pick up more pigment than a brush. So as you can see, it's a very, very barely there kind of iridescent glow. For lips, I'm gonna stick with the Anastasia theme and use Pure Hollywood. This is like a classic nude. Everyone used to wear this. Although I will say I used this recently and it does have like a weird smell. I think mine expired or something. It does say it only lasts six months, which I keep my liquid lipsticks for years. They last me forever, so that's kind of weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. This is that first shade that I tried to use in my inner corner. It barely shows up, so maybe it would show up better on a deeper skin tone, but not on me. This is Dawn. Destiny. This is supposed to be like an army green, but it kind of just shows up as gray. Adorn, which I actually do like. It's like a very, very bronzy shade. All Star. Mercury. Axis. This is that teal shade that I was actually super excited for, but it does kind of blend out muddy when I try to use it. Okay, next we have Roxy. Electric, which is that green shimmery shade. It is buildable, and it does look really pretty as an inner corner. Fudge. New Wave, Untamed, Edge, and Rowdy, which I can't tell what color this is. It's kind of like a black purple. So these are all the shades. As you can see, none of them are like super bright. They're all very muted colors. So that's kind of where it's at. The shimmers, most of them suck except for this bronzy color. These darker shades get muddy really quickly. They're very easy to like blow out on your lid and kind of get too much on there and then make it impossible to blend out. But I do like the lighter shades. Overall, is this palette worth the money? I don't think so. I got lucky and someone on Instagram that's local had it and they didn't want it because I had posted that I really wanted to try it out. The colors look beautiful. They passed it on to me for like 15 bucks. I do think that there's potential if you already have it. Like it is workable, but I feel like the darker shades really ended up with too much pigment so it would be difficult for like the everyday person to use it if you were drawn to the colors like I was I have seen on Instagram like some dupes and different palettes that have similar colors so you could always pick up one of those they might perform a little bit better they might even be more vibrant in color but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look it didn't turn out exactly how I had visualized but kind of went with it I'm definitely gonna have to try a look with just that shadow that I had in the beginning without any liner or anything like that. Those are my favorite kind of looks, but I feel like those are repetitive and I do a lot of those on my channel, so I wanted to incorporate a little bit of liner and stuff today. I'm currently filming this two days before Christmas, so I'm hoping I can get it up before then, but either way, Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope you have a happy holiday and happy new year, and I might actually not see you guys until next year, so thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!